The second one is Overcoming Self-Sabotage and Fear. It's by Heidi Chow, which I probably mispronounced, but anyway, it's about overcoming self-sabotage and fear. A lot of people run into those things. Uh, they, they look for excuses. I, I don't have time to work out because of my kids. There are a lot of people who have kids who manage to find, find time to do that. Don't let your family be a reason why you aren't successful, why you can't be healthy. You're adding years to your life to, to be with them. You're going to be more, um, more active and more capable of doing things with them. Your time with them will be better. So, you know, don't look for things like that to, to sabotage why you can't be successful. Fear. We talked about fear a lot and how it holds you back. Sometimes it's even the fear of success that's holding you back. Don't let those things hold you back. The book talks about the lizard brain, um, fear, and procrastination. Lizard brain, it talks about that being a primitive, uh, primal being and us being stuck there and worried and afraid uh, to expand, to learn more, to experience more, and to come out of that uh, comfort zone. And we want to do that. We want to go out. We want to experience new things. We want to grow. We want to have the mental and physical freedom to be successful in life. And in order to do that, we have to overcome some of those fears. So, you know, we're going to break down fear barriers. We're going to learn how to not procrastinate. A lot, a lot of times the procrastination is because you're afraid and you're putting it off because you are afraid that you'll fail. You're, like I said, maybe afraid that you'll succeed or afraid that there is something in there that's going to be harder than what you expect. And it's usually just fear of failure. And the thing is, you're going to fail. You're going to fail at parts of the program. You're going to fail at parts of the diet. But we've talked about that. We are not looking at it as failure. We're looking at it as growth. And as long as we continue to grow, then we'll progress. And that's all we're worried about. So these are two tools that should help you do that. And I hope that, uh, hope that you utilize them. I uh, hope that you continue to you know, work on the mindset stuff and make sure that you're committed to your programs and that you're seeing results.